they know there's enough content on social media mm -hmm. that parents want to keep away from their kids. However, in the wake of the Hamas attacks, there's also been an influx of very violent images spreading across social media, especially on TikTok. Yeah, so how should parents address it? Should we suspend our kids' social media accounts? Well, Ernie Anastas joins us this morning to weigh in. So good morning, Ernie. So Thanks nice to see you. Here. Good morning Great to both to of you. Great to see you, too. So yesterday yeah. I was actually walking home with my daughter, mm. and that was the conversation we had because she had heard really? about what's going on in Israel, yeah. and she's very frightened about it. And we also told our kids, no social media. Yeah. You cannot go on you TikTok You have to really anything. be careful of that stuff. I mean, you know, we know as parents, look, there's so much going on in the news, and when you watch it on a day-to-day -day basis, particularly with the, the visions of war, mm -hmm. you know, kids look at it and they say, what is this? And depending on the age group, you know, 10 and, and under or teenagers, the bottom line is you should monitor. You know, you really have to turn around and say, okay, what are you watching? And let me watch it with you. And if they have a question, be honest with them. I mean, sensitive answers, yeah. but tell them what's going on. To me, I think the best answer is to be able to say, look, people are fighting, and you know it's not good to fight, whether it's in the classroom, yeah. your friends, uh, brother and sister. You know, we, we don't want to fight, but this is what's going on right yeah. now. But here's the thing to look at. The people are talking about it. The people who are leaders who are in charge are trying to find a way to make it better, mm -hmm. just like we do it in our family. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to make kids part of the solution uh, it, get them involved to think about how can we make this problem better and that way you know we give them a lesson in life to say I can be part of the solution be a peacemaker and not a troublemaker well listen you get you can't get to the television quick enough sometimes you can't always monitor what your child sees on social media so once they see it mm. you've got to teach them how to digest it what, what yes. are you what do you what are you supposed to say after your child sees some of the images that we've yeah. seen uh, you know, over the last week. Okay, I, I think the most important thing, and the people that I talk to, um, you've got to give your child a sense of security and comfort. You don't want them to feel threatened. You have to explain, as I said just now, that this is a fighting that's going on that's not a good thing, mm -hmm. but we're looking to make it better. Look, it's not just the war, but look at all the violence, the shootings. I mean, do we have to talk about schools, oh. churches, oh. synagogues, oh. Uh, shopping centers? When kids see that, you know, they 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 are f afraid so we have to reduce that anxiety by teaching them that there's comfort at home there's security and they can talk to us yeah. give them the opportunity to explain how they feel and if there is a problem if, if there's a lot of social anxiety and so forth you know maybe they need some help yep. maybe beyond parenting but there there is an answer to the problem and I think that that's the most important message I have is find the solutions and make them feel comfortable and secure. Yeah. Now, see, this is why this guy has <laughs> yeah. one of the best kids' books on the market <laughs> yeah. for folks who watch yeah. news. Well, and you will continue the conversation yeah. this weekend. Absolutely, All this right. weekend, that and a lot more. Always nice to see you both. Good Great to see you. Great to see you, too, Ernie. And you can, again, you can yeah. see more on Positively America, America with Ernie Anastas right here on Sunday at 6 o'clock in the morning. So tune in. Oh, yeah.